Log to them. Let's get the weather authority forecast now. Two days of sunshine. Wow. I what a know. difference it makes for the mood. It's kind of ironic that we got this warm up just as we turned the pages from Perfect winter timing. to spring. I know, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stick around. We can still see some wintry weather on the horizon. Although for the next couple of days, we will continue to be warming up. And today is our first full day of spring as well. Definitely felt like it. We're also looking ahead to our next rainmaker. This one is going to be a fairly soggy one. Could even see some strikes of lightning with this storm as now it's starting to ramp up with even more energy than before. So for this evening, seeing many areas under dry conditions, but there are a few showers up to the north by the Tug Hill, Watertown, Old Forge, even over by Rome and Utica as well. This is just along a weak warm front that's heading by to our north, and it's also drawing up some even warmer air for tomorrow and the next couple of days, really. The reason why we're seeing some showers is right on the edge of that stationary front that will gradually drift to the north of us, and that weather system that did roll by is now heading out to the east. But a bigger one is on the way that will slide in along this front, bringing us some pretty soggy weather looking ahead to Wednesday night and especially on Thursday. But it will also be mild. Check out our high temperatures. Today we hit 55. Tomorrow we'll be near 60. Then we're in the mid 50s on Thursday. But after that soggy system rolls through Thursday, we'll be back to normal for the weekend. So mid to lower 40s Friday, Saturday and Sunday, right around normal for this time of year. Now let's time out the rain for you with our future cast this evening. Partly sunny skies, more clouds and a couple of sprinkles up to the north. Temperatures in the lower 50s right now, dropping quickly as we head into tonight. Mostly clear skies and temperatures will be in the upper 30s by 10 p.m dropping closer to 30 by sunrise tomorrow, and it will be a partly sunny and dry start to the day tomorrow. I mean, really much of the day looks dry. We will be getting some extra clouds in the afternoon, but it's still going to be warm with highs around 60. Then as we get closer to sunset around 7 p.m. will be our best chance to see some showers working their way in from the west. They look to stay on the lighter side, at least for Wednesday evening and Wednesday night as well. But we'll get a better chance to see some heavier rain showers looking ahead to Thursday, especially Thursday afternoon. That's when we may get a batch of thunderstorms along a cold front that rolls through. Highs will reach the mid 50s, but as soon as that cold front rolls through, we'll be dropping pretty quickly as we head into Friday. And then our next weather system arrives on the weekend. Friday looks quiet. We'll get a wintry mix arriving in from the south Saturday morning, changing to rain during the day. Then on Sunday, just some lingering leftover rain and snow showers tapering off by Sunday night. Now here's a check of your seven day forecast tomorrow, even warmer than today. High of 60 dry for most of the day. Then we get some showers around sunset and overnight into Thursday. Could even see some thunderstorms Thursday afternoon with breezy conditions and highs in the mid 50s. Quiet weather on Friday, a little bit cooler in the mid 40s, but right around normal for this time of year. Then windy over the weekend and in the lower 40s. We're also watching a wintry, potentially icy mix early Saturday, changing to rain during the day. Some lingering rain and snow showers Sunday, then a quiet start to next week. But we do have another rainy and snowy weather system on Tuesday. Michael. Thank you, Violet.